What's up everybody, Steven Z Killer here, and I'm bringing you a brand new reaction video. But before that, about 80% of you guys watching are not subscribed. That means two things, either you're new or you're returning. And hopefully this is the video that gets you that subscribe button today. The new goal for this channel is 400 thousand subscribers and the only way we can do that is by you right there hitting that subscribe button i can feel it rising i can feel it oh, keep hitting the subscribe button keep doing it one day we'll even go even further beyond and hit a million subscribers so hit that subscribe button today What's up, everybody? Steven Zekiller here, finally bringing you something a lot of people have been asking for, and this is a this is a big one. This is a big reaction, as you can see. Look at this: we, we, an hour and thirty-five minutes, basically, is what we're about to embark on. Now, I've watched, and I might put it in the description if you guys are interested. Uh, I watched the prior two movies that involve this uh, three like book series. Um, and it's been a while, though. It has been a very long time since I've watched those ones. But it was Silver Eyes. This is the fourth closet. And what was the second one? It was Silver Eyes. Uh, oh, the Twisted Ones. That's the other one I watched right there. Okay. So Silver Eyes, Twisted Ones, and now the fourth closet. Now, I do know that apparently uh, this channel is tackling, I believe is tackling some of the other ones. Um count the ways i think i saw recently in my feed i think they tackled uh and to be beautiful i think is in is also another one i saw so there's a lot for me to still check out on this channel and eventually watch and if you guys are interested in my reactions to the last two um full movies then go check it out um i'm excited though show these guys as much support as you guys can uh, what they do is amazing, and honestly, they deserve way more than 33,000 subscribers, especially with how many views this got and the prior few movies. And also, do me the biggest favor and click on the link and go drop them a like. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of effort. So please go check them out, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. And I do know um, you guys have been waiting for this one for a while now because I think I was planning to watch this back in October, uh, for the memberthon kind of situation, but it never happened, and things kept moving forward. Time kept slipping by, and other things came out, and other things just in general took prior. And I'm finally sitting down to sit down and watch it. So, anyways, no more delay. Let's smack ourselves into this and enjoy this FNAF movie, The Fourth Closet. These videos are only possible because of people like you. Consider checking out the Patreon page with the link in the description. Do it! Support! 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 I have to stay. No. You have to come with us. You have to come with me. No, I... I love you. And I'm taking you with me. Right now. Yeah, if I remember okay. correctly, there was like a, a whole like mystery of her dying or something at the end of... But then she, sh she comes back. It's still pulling. Yeah, that's what happened. But then she shows up later, even though they thought she was dead. So like I said, it's been a while that's since I've watched true. this. But I'm glad to uh, finally sit down and check this out. Baby. Oh, it's spring trap, okay. 
Now, if there's things I forget or anything, please let me know or correct me in the comments. I must have called your name three times. Where were you? I was just really focused. Uh-huh. Focused. This is an active construction zone. If you're in La La Land, you're all thinking about the safety of the other men out there. Of course. I understand. I'm sorry. Don't yeah. fuck up. You'll lose I'm your sorry job. Too. I have to let you go. What? Oh, pfft. I took a chance with you. Damn! But I'm not putting my other guys' lives at risk. Okay. Uh. Wow. I understand. I was only making that as a joke, but goddamn, I didn't expect him to instantly get fired. Good luck out there. Six months since Charlie... <sighs> Go to work. Go home. Buy food sometimes. For six months. Now, no job, no work. No reason to stay in Hurricane. Hmm? Hmm. Napton. He's finally given up on killer robots. He's just gonna run me over my highway. John, it's me. Z what are you doing out here? Well, I could ask you the same thing. I would say, why were you just trying to fucking hit me? I was just getting gassed. How have you been? Fine. Working mostly. What's new with you? Carlton's actually... That is a completely odd switch. The fact that he thought it was Acton at first. And then he goes instant to like, Oh, hi, friend. We're going to be back from New York soon. Spring break. We're all getting together tonight at his dad's house. He's dying to show off his new cosmopolitan persona. I swear, when I talked to him on the phone last week, he was faking a Brooklyn accent. You should come. Who else is going to be there? John. She misses you. You have to talk to her sometime. No, I don't. I don't know who that is, but it isn't Charlie. Charlie's dead. Stop it! You're hurting her! Don't you understand? After what she went through? It's insane, John! I don't know what that night did to you, but I know what it did to Charlie. But I don't think any of it hurt as badly as you refusing to speak to her. I saw her die. No, you didn't. I've seen her. I've talked to her. It is her. And this? This thing you're doing? That's what's killing her. Please come tonight. Maybe. Good enough for me. I'll see you there. I Damn. said maybe. They do like to flip around on their uh, feelings. Hey, Theodore. Hey, thank you for subscribing. What did you do today? You look terrible. Worse than me. Honestly, I should throw you away. I don't know why I haven't yet. So, tell me, did you already have this costume? Or did you make it especially for the grand opening? <laughs> the fuck? What if it is her? The shuddering suit? Charlie trapped inside? The blood. You have she shouldn't have survived that. But Dave... No, Afton. William Afton survived what happened to Charlie. He didn't die inside the robot suit. He became Springtrap. He returned. But in Charlie too? Broken and scarred, but alive? I don't care. I'm not going. What would I even say to these people? Right? Hmm. <laughs> Just taking the And you out. go in a ways, right really? Back. John. Come inside. Oh. Your house looks different. A lot's changed. Is Betty No. 
She's still gone. I wish she'd come back. Maybe she will someday. But life goes on. John. Hey, Marla. Hey. <laughs> what? Are you my granddad now? It's so good to see all of you again. Is Lamar around? He said, I am never, ever, ever setting foot in that town again. Not ever. Never for as long as I live. And you shouldn't either. But he says yeah. hi. What's up with you, Jessica? I heard you've got the dorm room to yourself now. Honestly, I don't think that's a, that, that that's pretty smart of him just saying fuck that town. I'm not going back. Oh, I actually moved, but yeah. One day I found Charlie packing up whatever she could carry. She left me and John to clean up the rest. I don't think she was even going to tell me she was leaving. Didn't tell me where either, just that she had to go. Well, we can just ask her tonight. John, come help me in the kitchen. What's up? Need me to open a ketchup bottle? <laughs> I just want to make sure you're all right out there. I know it's been a while since you and Charlie talked, and she'll be here soon. You pulled me in here for a pep talk? Jessica told me she ran into you earlier today. Almost literally, yeah. You're among friends here, John. Try to relax. All of this heartache you're putting yourself through, that can't be what you want. Hmm. You're right. This isn't what I want. I shouldn't have come. He's gonna walk John. into her. Charlie. Thanks for stopping. I was just going to get my jacket. It's not her. How could anyone think that's her? <sighs> John. Say something. I don't know what to say. I missed you. I, uh, had to get away for a while. That night, John, I thought I was going to die. I thought you did. You don't think I'm me? Jessica told me. It's okay, John. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just want you to know that it's okay. It is her. She grew up. That's all. We all had to grow up. We haven't driven past her house or the old Freddy Fazbear's site in months. Maybe she had her own thing she wanted to avoid. Maybe she wanted to change just like you have. When you think of what that moment did to you, what must have it done to her? What kind of nightmares do you have, Charlie? Why are your eyes going, Charlie? No. Wait. <laughs> Almost got me. Charlie, do you remember the last thing I said to you? Before you... Before you were trapped in the suit. I love you. I'm sorry, John. I don't remember a lot about that night. Whole pieces are just... missing. I remember being in the suit. I passed out. I think for hours. It isn't her. That's okay. I should get going. John. Would you meet me tomorrow? I just want to talk. Give me a chance. Sure. Uh, don't trust place? her. The Thai place? Our first date. Around six. Yeah. See you then. Something. Those weren't her eyes. Charlie? Are you okay? I didn't hear you come outside. He doesn't mean to hurt you. He's just... Traumatized. I know. I think he needs some time. How's New York? Great. College, city, learning, friends. I was in a play about a horse. How about you, Marla? What the fuck? Well, Ohio is New York, but I never go out anyway. Pre-med is a ton of work. Worth it, though. Charlie, Jessica said you left school? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to hear about your house. Oh, and also the, uh... It's fine. Maybe you could build a new house there? Dad said they recently cleared out the rubble and took it to the junkyard. What? It's okay, he didn't say anything about killer robots. Carlton! Ow! <laughs> no, no. I'm good. It's actually a huge relief the killer robots are unaccounted for. Carlton, thank you. Are you being sorry? I... I don't know how... I, I don't know how I'd feel about that statement, unaccounted for. That That's a particular word. Sarcastic. Very.
find anyone though. No, sir. I'll let you know if something turns up. Thank you, officer. Have a good day. Trouble? Oh, pardon me, ma'am. No. Some kids snuck in last night. Nothing unusual. Feel free to head on in and look around. Scraps 50 cents a pound. I'm looking for something specific, Bob. Well, I don't know what to tell you. It's a dump. But she's what you get. Bob, you received several truckloads of scrap metal on this date. And from this location, where in the yard did it go? Let's see. That all went... How much did that phone call you over here? Are these your daughters? Yes, two and five. They are beautiful. Do you treat them well? Of course I do. I don't like how she's talking. You just told the police you thought someone was trapped in the scrap heaps out there. You heard screaming. A child, perhaps. Maybe several. Look, we run a clean business and we have a good reputation. I'm not disputing your reputation. Quite the opposite. I think what you did was honorable. Running to the rescue in the middle of the night. Cutting your legs on jagged scraps of metal as you ran blindly through the yard. What did you find? When you got on your hands and knees and crawled through the beams and the wire? What was there? I don't feel comfortable with this. If I'm in some kind of trouble, then I think- You're not in any trouble, Bob. As long as you can do me one little favor. Take me there. So, going into this, I do know some things about the story, and uh, I have a feeling that maybe she's trying to get the other Charlie's body. What happened to Charlie? I'm not crazy, Theodore. Because if you don't know, I've watched like Game Theory and all that stuff, and they talked about certain events that happened in these books. And so I do know some stuff. I do know some stuff, but not everything. But if that woman isn't Charlie, who is she? Sammy, Charlie's twin? It could be short for Samantha. Maybe when Samantha was kidnapped, she was a murder. What if Charlie's twin is still alive? And not only alive, but raised by Springtrap, by William Apton. Shaped and molded by a psychopath for 17 years. Primed with all that knowledge Afton could glean from Charlie's life. Now sent to take Charlie's place? But why? What would be the point? And how could Afton know anything about Charlie's life? After her dad died, she moved away. Nobody saw her for years when she moved out with her Aunt Jen. Uh, <gasps> Not gonna lie, that kind of gave me a jump scare. Um, like, <laughs> you know that inner, inner feeling when you get scared? You do one of those things. Uh, Never done that before. Clay, uh, hey, come in. I wanted to see how you were doing. Really? Didn't we have that talk yesterday? Yeah, well, you can never be too sure. What do you know about Charlie's Aunt Jen? She became very eager to see you again when I mentioned that you had seen her Aunt Jen before the house collapsed. It made me realize that there is a lot we don't know about that night. I know you're seeing Charlie tonight. If she can tell you where her Aunt Jen is... You're acting awfully different than Pep Talk Clay from the other night. Yeah. I understand. It's just... We found some things in the wreckage. Hey, I don't appreciate know how you to describe them. Scary things. Dave, William, Afton, Springtrap, whatever. I'm not ready to declare him dead. And I think Charlie is holding something back. And she might feel comfortable sharing that with me? Maybe. That feels morally ambiguous. Does it always do that? No. The murmuring is new. I'm over an hour early. Hmm. I guess you decide on a shirt and get out a lot faster. Only word I really understood was I kept hearing the word silver. Faster when you want to get away from the chief of police dropping by unannounced. Feels like it's been a year since I was last in town. I think Jessica moved out of her dorm to an apartment around here. What kind of friend have I been? I should know basic stuff like this. 
Maybe Charlie and I can go see a movie after the dinner and interrogation. The theater's just around the corner. I wonder what's playing. Never a good idea thinking of it as interrogation. The theater is gone. But that... That's so much like... We're gonna get some... Okay, I saw Baby at the beginning of the intro, but we're gonna get Circus Baby shit in this? What? Just keep walking, John. You don't have to do this. Smell. So familiar. Rubber. Sweat. Pizza. Children playing. Police and parents. It's exactly like- Excuse me, sir? Are you here with children? No, I- Yes, several children. Birthday party, so many cousins. What can you do? If you're not here with any children- I have to go meet someone. Somewhere else. Bye. That was a very awkward situation. <laughs> this made him kind of look like a creep. Something's in her house. They would not focus on her putting away groceries unless something's going to pop up and scare her. And it's Charlie. Did I scare you? Sorry, the door was unlocked. I should have waited outside. Charlie, you scared me to death. What are you doing here? I told you, I'm having dinner with John. John doesn't seem to like my new look. Maybe he'd like me better if you help me pick out an outfit. Well, Charlie, it won't do either of you any good to pretend nothing has changed. We're also, you've been wearing the same red dress for the last six months, I, I guess. What you have on, <laughs> great. Just let him spend some time with you. He's been through a lot, remember? From his perspective, he saw you die right in front of his eyes. <laughs> How could I forget? I'm just worried about him. Jessica, do you remember him telling me something important that night? Something important? Something that I should remember. Something he said. Trying to get information so she's accurate. Okay, I see what's going on here. Before I was. Sorry, no. You and John were alone for a few minutes. I'm not sure what he said. Why? I think it's important to him that I remember. Sorry again for breaking in. I mean, I didn't break in. The door was unlocked. You know what I mean. <laughs> Just announce yourself sooner next time. He's testing her. Hi. Hi. Charlie, you're dressed a lot nicer than the last time we were here. It probably seems that way because I'm not covered in dirt and blood this time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sure, bring up that right away. What was that movie we saw? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Zombies versus zombies. Right. <laughs> He was about zombies. It was my fault. My head wasn't really ever there. I was always thinking about other stuff. I've missed this. Me too. You know, I didn't leave because of... It wasn't because of you. I just had to get away from everything. I see she made it. Here you go. Oh, uh, but we didn't. I've kind of gotten used to ordering before you get here. <laughs> right. I still don't remember. What? I don't remember what you said to me that night. I know it's important to you. I know maybe it's why you think what you think about me. But I just... don't remember. I can't change that. Okay. I know... I know that. A lot happened that night. I know. If it's that important... Why can't you just tell me? Never mind. Forget I said anything. Miss? Oh, thank you. Charlie, I still don't understand. How did you manage to get away undamaged? I didn't. Hmm. After that night, I had to get away. I had to leave everything behind. Everything. 
My whole life has been haunted by what happened here. I wanted to be somebody different. I had to, or I'd go insane. But I couldn't be your Charlie forever. That naive little girl forever. Selfish. Scatterbrained. Pathetic. I wouldn't say that. No, that that's not exactly how she was. She was very... That, that, that mm, I'm not sure. I, I think it just made it kind of stronger for him to realize that she's different. I never thought you were any of those things. Yeah. But it's still me. Don't you know it's still me? I saw you die. And now I'm here. Very much alive. Telling you I'm alive. John, please. I don't understand. If you think I'm not me, then what do you think? Who can you possibly think I am? Thought about it a lot. Almost constantly, actually. I guess maybe I thought you were Sammy. Sammy's dead. Well, yeah, I know, but you only saw Sammy being kidnapped, not killed. And maybe Sammy is short for Samantha. Sammy could have been a girl all I along. I can't believe this. John, you took me to see Sammy's grave yourself, remember? I took you to the cemetery, but I never saw Sammy's grave or your father's. Then go look sometime. It's not like they're going anywhere. Aunt Jen warned me not to come back to Hurricane. She's three for three at this point. Have you heard from her, by the way? From your aunt? I figured you're living with her after you moved out of the dorm. I haven't seen her in a while. She rescued me that night, you know. She took me home and cleaned me up. Made sure I was okay. But... I would still be so fucking suspicious. I thought you said you didn't remember anything from that night. I don't- Oh! I woke up in her house, and she told me what happened. But she left? Or you left? I'm confused. Do you want her to find you? I'd like to know where she is. Okay, well, I don't know. There's a good zombie movie starting in about 15 minutes. The new theater isn't far from here. What do you think? Should we see if the old formula still works? I can't. I've got somewhere that I need to be. Another time? Yeah. Maybe. Is it her? Is she my Charlie? I would not believe her still myself. I've been asking that for months. And now that I finally get to go ask her myself, it felt unreal. Like a dream that won't. <laughs> Random clown fuckery, I guess. <sighs> Kids together, John. They're just people in costumes. Appreciate you subscribing. People in costumes. That's never going to happen. I always said, if me. you subscribe and your name pops up, you get a shout out. Play. So hit that subscribe button. I was button. Just about to ring the bell. Were you expecting me? John. Good. Come inside. You want some coffee? It's a little late for me. I'll be up all night. I'm substituting lesser vices. You fixed the door. Oak. Reinforced. So what brings you here tonight, John? Carlton's not home? I saw Charlie. Everything okay? Thought I saw something. I was just a little on edge with all these weirdos walking around in face paint. I can relate. So did Charlie emulate anything from that night? Not really. She says she doesn't remember much. She asked about her Aunt Jen. I think she's looking for her. She wanted to know if I'd seen her. Mm -hmm. Did you ever meet Jen? Charlie always gave me the impression she was kind of cold. Mm -hmm. I was surprised when Jen took Charlie after Henry died. Yeah. What about Charlie's mother? Henry never had a bad word to say about Charlie's mother. But I do know she ran off before Henry and Charlie moved to Hurricane. I knew they'd lose their other kid. As soon as she had some kind of breakdown. One day I couldn't help but ask Henry about her. He thought a long time before answering. Eventually he gave me the sad look and he said, She wouldn't know what to do with my little girl. Ah. Clowns roaming the streets have you jumping too, huh, John? You could say that. That was... Why are there so many random fucking clowns? Just the wind. 
Is oh. that Ella? The doll? Yeah, it was in the rubble of the house. The other night I asked if Charlie wanted it, but she wasn't interested. She wasn't? I have a hard time believing that. Charlie's dad made Ella for her. She used to go around on a track with the tea set. What's this? A child was abducted this morning. It's the second one of this month. Do you think it has something to do with... I mean, it's not the first time it's happened here, and... and... I told you I'm not ready to assume that William Afton is out of the picture. I hope these are just some custody disputes and the kids turn up, but it's something else. I'm going to need you, and I'm going to need Charlie, too. I know it isn't fair, but... Yeah. Mm. It's getting late. Right. Watch yourself out there. Do you want to take my gun? What? Only choking. Oh. <laughs> okay. Unless you do need it. <laughs> no. That is pretty odd. You want my gun? <laughs> But I guess he has trust with him, so. But. <laughs> Hello? I think the club restaurant is in the other direction. The fuck? Relax, John. Just another weirdo in a costume. Um, that was definitely Circus Baby. What the? The door. Oh, fuck. 911, what's your emergency? This is Police Chief Clay Burke. There is an intruder in my home, and I don't have immediate access to my radio. Chief Burke? Are you there? Hello? No, no, no. The way he said that, you get your ass out here now, motherfucker! Are you there? Chief Burke? Huh. Whoever's on the phone is a fucking idiot. There's an intruder in my house! I need help! Clonk. Thud. Simple as that! Shining star. Silver wreath. Shining star? Silver wreath? Okay. Hello? Is this John? I'm calling from Pioneer Memorial Hospital. What? Clay Burke is here. He's badly hurt, but in stable condition. When he was conscious, he was asking for you. Honestly, I thought he'd be dead. It's moving. Of course it is. Of course they are. Raise it two more degrees. It looks like it's... in pain. I don't care. Do it! They're afraid. You're at risk of destroying them. No. They remember me as I used to be. And they can't be destroyed. They can only serve a greater purpose. They'll become something more. He's extracting the agony shit. Just like you once did. Oh my god. The creation of Funtime Freddy! Success. Go. I have no more use for you now. And as for you, the police chief kept the animatronics hidden in his basement. Quite some time. Perhaps he hit our final component there. I checked. He didn't. Then keep looking. I'm sorry to drag you here, Jessica. I didn't know who else to call. No, it's okay, John. I called the others anyway. We shouldn't be letting in anyone other than family, by the way. But when he was awake, he demanded to see you, so... Oh, I, get, I think it's the video. I thought I had, I kept hearing people from behind me, like someone that was at my door. I think the video did that. Let me hear. Anyone other than family, by the way. But when he was awake. Yep, that's from the fucking video. Ed tricked me. He demanded to see you, so. Chief's orders. I'll give you some privacy. 
clay. Don't pull any plugs just yet. I'm still here. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to pass out any second. John, there's an envelope in my jacket. Get it. It has to have a range. Look. What? It has to have a maximum range. Jessica, these photos. Someone's been stalking us. What? It wasn't just someone stalking us. It was Clay, and Charlie is the only common element in all of the pictures. Look. Why was Clay stalking Charlie? Jessica, John! Marla! Oh, Carlton. I'm so sorry. Is he okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. He was just awake and talking a minute ago. What happened? We... don't know. Why did the hospital call you first and not me, his actual family? I was... I'm kind of curious about that too, John. I don't know. I didn't really think to question it. I just ran right over. I'm sorry. It's okay. It, it means a lot that you're all here. Yeah. Of course, man. Don't fucking trust her. Ugh. I hate that hospital smell. <laughs> Charlie. What? Is it just me? No, she's right. I guess I'm used to it. I should get going. I still might be able to make it to class. John, didn't you say you had a job interview to get to? Hmm? Uh, oh, yes, yes. I'm trying to get a new job. Um, bye, everybody. I'll come back later. Good luck. Good good excuse, honestly, because they need to get the fuck out of there so they can talk. Because I, I, I still, if I was in this position, I would not trust Charlie whatsoever still. Is he all right? I couldn't help but overhear that's Chief Burke in there. Oh, yeah. He'll recover. Good. Good. I was just at the station, and they said he was here, and I... Are you okay? My son is missing. The other officers didn't take me seriously. They wanted to call my ex-husband, but I knew he didn't take Jacob. He wouldn't know what to do with him. But when Chief Burke found out, he asked better questions. He said he'd find Jacob, and I believe him. But now... He's going to recover. We just talked to him. You'll find your son. Okay. Thank you. I'll be okay. John. It'll be alright. They don't get found. You're right. Something strange is happening. And the only cop that believes in any of it is in the hospital. It's up to us. I noticed you brought a friend in your bag. Or at least, a friend's head. Theodore? Don't tell Charlie I have it. I think she'd just want to throw it out with all the other stuff that reminds her of her dad. It must be some stages of grief thing. It's weird. Charlie's experiments always creep me out. But it's nice to see one now. Shining star. Silver wreath. It can talk? It just started. Silver wreath. Does that mean anything? It's a town not far from here. We should go. I'll drive. Maybe Charlie's family used to live there. I doubt it. When exactly did people last live here? 1800s? It's a silver mining town, hence the name. Now, what does Shining Star mean? It's beautiful. But not helpful. Shining Star. Ah. Maybe go in the direction of the sh- Oh, never mind. Aunt Jen? I'm someone's Aunt Jen, yes. But I don't believe I'm yours. We're friends of Charlie's. And? We're here. Because I got a message. Hello, Theodore. You've seen better days, haven't you? <laughs> I didn't send you any message. Why don't you come inside? So, this is where Charlie grew up? No. How is she? Does she also know about this message? No, but we're trying to help her. Is there anything going on? Charlie is my concern. She's my responsibility. Charlie's our friend. She's our concern too. 
A friend of ours was taking pictures of Charlie. Like, he was stalking her. We don't know why. He was nearly murdered last night. He said something before he lost consciousness. It has to have a maximum range. Do you know what that means? <sighs> I know you mean well. I should tell you to go away, to forget her. Secrets petrify you. You harden yourself against the world to keep them safe. But you keep them long enough. You discover one day you've turned to stone. Listen, I may not know whatever your secrets are, but I know that girl isn't Charlie. Or she's under some kind of influence. She isn't herself. I... That way. Back room. That's not good! Shut the door. Then get out of the house. Quickly. Uh oh. This looks like stuff I'd expect to find in Charlie's room. Shh. Aunt Jen, it's so wonderful to see you again. It's Charlie. She's here. <laughs> John, what something are you doing? Tell, something tells me Aunt Jen might not be alive much longer. Just saying. I got that stinking feeling in my gut. Something isn't right here. This might be your only chance to find out what she's up to. What a nice surprise. It's been too long. I've been trying to find you, but you're not at our house anymore. A change of scenery seems nice. I think you have something I've been looking for. Shining star. Silver wreath. There it is again. But that's Shining not Silver star. Silver wreath. Oh my god. Shining star. Silver wreath. Charlie? J Jessica, it's Charlie. She's still alive. John, I cannot even process that right now. B but We have to run, now. Is there anything you'd like to say? No. No. I always loved you, Charlie. Oh my god! God damn! I love, I love, I love, I love you, you too. too. You know, I knew she was going to probably die, but I just didn't expect that fast. <laughs> John, we have to take her to a hospital. We don't even know what's wrong with her. That's why you take her to a hospital. I don't think she'll be safe. You think she's safe here? John? Well, let's see. There is a man uh, an evil, older, red dress clone of her that literally just killed somebody that she's related to, technically. And you guys don't think that, yeah, honestly, he, I'm on this guy's side. He, he, yes, it's probably not safe to bring her to the hospital where she could easily be found and probably offed later. What are you looking at? It's a photo of Charlie we found at her old house before it collapsed. She looks a lot like... Ella. I always hated that creepy robot in the closet. I have to go. What? Where are you going? I have a hunch about something. What am I supposed to do if not Charlie shows up? Bolt the door. Get a gun. Hmm. Aha. Anyone can discover a fire already burning, as we have here. But Henry found a unique spark, created something truly different. Something he didn't deserve or intend to stumble upon. Why is it not here with you now? I couldn't find it. Disappointing. As usual. Am I not enough? No. You're not. Damn. I know where to go next.
Oh, Charlie, what is happening here? Clay, now you? Too many people I care about are currently unconscious. It has a range. What did Clay mean? He certainly could do a better job focusing his shots. These are all blurry. Wait, no. But only Charlie. It's only that other Charlie who's blurry. In every picture. Jessica? John! I have something I need to show you in my car. Wait, I need you to see this first. The date at the restaurant. Clay was to really rush back home to beat me to his house after this. Focus, John. Watch what Charlie does after you leave. I can barely make her out at this point. She's so blurry. I think she's turning around. Wait. That's not Charlie. But there's no one else there. That's the clown I saw on the road outside of Clay's house. The maximum range, that's what he meant. This thing only looks like Charlie when it's close up. It's the chips. What? Oh. The computer chips we found on this newer animatronics made them look like they were alive. Okay, so now this is going into that sound shit that um they've talked about. Uh, or the frequency stuff, like the one that Vanny has and stuff like that. A lot, of, a lot of stuff. I, I I get where this is going now. It's like they had fur and everything. This Charlie imposter must use the same thing. Um, I think Charlie's here. Bad Charlie is here. Actually, that's what I wanted to show you. Hi, Ugh. Charlie. She knows we're here. What do we do? I have to hide our Charlie. I scared you again, didn't I? I really need to work on that. Maybe I just pray to leave. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Can I come in? I have to move you now. I'll be careful. No, I'm sorry. Um, I wouldn't have even opened the door. The mess in there. John's just tidying up real quick. Really? He's seen my dorm room. He should know I can handle a little mess. Well, that's because you were worse. This actually just puts her in danger of getting her neck broken. She had a crazy, brilliant science project. She has no excuses. How's that project going, by the way? I lost interest. John, are you almost done cleaning? I'm sure it's fine. Hi, Charlie. It's uh, great to see you. Nice place, John. Thanks. Oh, a tour? Sure, so that's my bedroom. How long have you been here? Yeah, not suspicious at all. Since everything. This is where I lived when I first... I'm sorry, at this point in time, I wouldn't give a fuck. I would grab a baseball bat, something, bash that head. She came here. Oh, I guess I don't remember it. She's searching for something. Yes, thank you. I can tell. So do something? Are you hungry, Charlie? I'm sure John can make you something. Or maybe we could have dinner out. Charlie, I had fun the other night. Would you be up for that? Yes, of course. That sounds great, John. Same place? Hasn't let us down yet. Around seven? Sure. Well, it's nice out. And I was just taking a walk to clear my head. I knew you lived nearby, so I thought I'd drop in. I'm gonna keep going. See you tonight, John. Phew. Okay, we have to do something for Charlie. If you don't want to take her to the hospital, I'm bringing the hospital to her. I'm going to get Marla. You stay with her. Jessica. John. Shining star. Silver reef. Theodore. Where am I? I'm trapped. I have to get free. Or I have to free you. Sorry, I've only got the one pillow. It's okay. It's kind of like a nightmare dream state. Charlie, you're awake? Hi. Oh, Charlie, I... I thought you were... I won't ever let go of you again. Could get awkward. Marla's coming. We're going to help you. But you have to know something. There's someone... Something out here impersonating you. Saying that she's you. Afton. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Well, we've got this, okay? Clay's helping, and Jessica. It's going to be okay. Okay? Not entirely. Stop stalling. 
I'm not stopping. Oh, I thought I thought that was just a ploy just to distract her, but he's actually gonna go on the date. Calling. I just hope Marlo's okay with the real Charlie back in my apartment. You shouldn't be able to hear us. Did you tape the button down? Oh yeah. Sorry, it came loose. Fixing it now. Thanks for coming on this date with me, guys. Here we go. Sorry I'm late. Probably hide the walkie-talkie a little bit better, my good sir. That's usually my line. I guess so. So, I heard you and Jessica visited that old ghost town. What's that place called again? You mean Silver Reef? Yes, I mean Silver Reef. That's a strange place to go, John. Just out seeing the sights. I was... I was looking for an old friend. John, what are you doing? Did you find your old friend? Yes, I found her. Where is she? I don't know what it'll take to show these people what you really are, but I can try all sorts of things before you make it out of that door. I'll start with this glass of soda, then I'll try and share it with the back of your head. We'll see where we go from there. Thank you for dinner, John. Uh, why would you even let her kiss you? I would have splashed that bitch! Splash her with the fucking soda! Hit her in the head with the chair! I don't give a fuck! What's happening in there? Uh, she's paying the bill? She looks hot. She put your father in the hospital. What's wrong with you? <laughs> He's thinking with his dick! Uh, no, I know. Very serious. Why did I even bring you along? Huh? Where are you going? I have an idea. Stay here. Take my car if you need it. Ah. Uh. John, that was crazy. Carlton, where's Jessica? Uh, I'm not sure. She ran off. <sighs> she did something stupid, didn't she? Uh, come on. What are these plans? What are these thoughts? God damn it. This is so, ugh. It should be pretty simple to figure some of this shit out. Jessica, what are you doing? Now she just put herself in danger and this chick can get killed. You should have just asked for a ride, J J Jessica. Charlie? I knew it. She didn't have to die. Well, at least she didn't kill her right off the bat. But she is not in a good position because no one knows where she is. It was so who, stupid of her. Who are you? I'm Charlie. Do you like my new look? I don't know what you are, but you aren't Charlie. Part of me is. It's strange. I have these memories. I know they don't belong to me, and yet, at the same time, they do. I don't feel anything when they come to mind. They're just there, like walking a long road, lined with billboards of things happening somewhere else. Well, what do you feel? I feel disappointment. Desperation. A father's disappointment. And a daughter's desperation. Henry? No. More brilliant than Henry. Though I could only watch from a distance. I see everything clearly now. When you were a little girl, your father is your world. How tragic and miserable such an existence is. To be born with none of your intel- Are they really going to go the sympathy route with this character? Okay. Intelligence. But all of your- Trying to make her seem not the bad guy, even though she just broke somebody's fucking neck just a little bit ago? Art. To be fully capable of feeling pain and torment, but with no power to understand. It opens you up to abuse, to neglect, to unimaginable pain. All you can do is feel. I wanted so desperately to have been the one on that stage, but it was always her. All of his love went into her. You're talking about Afton? 
William Afton never made anything with love. I should rip you in half. She was his obsession. He worked on her day and night. God damn. The clown baby with bright orange pigtails. Petite enough to be sweet and approachable. But large enough to swallow you whole. <laughs> so this is a different model of baby than the... Wanted to be her. The focus of his attention. The center of his world. You're delusional. You're a robot, not his child. You don't understand yet. One night, I snuck out of bed to see her. I've been told not to a hundred times. I pulled. So they are going to be doing the scooping situation, okay? Pushed away and gazed upward. Finally, able to stare at her as long as I liked, without being scolded to stay away. I also remember looking down at the little girl. It's strange seeing through both sets of eyes now. She was gleaming bright, beautiful, standing over me. She had happy red cheeks and a lovely red dress. I stood in awe of this creature my father loved. This doctor he made for himself. I wanted to be her so badly. So I did what I was built to do. My first capture. My first kill. Yeah. You can't leave yet, Jessica. We have plans for you. Oh, God. I'm so happy to be here with you. Me too, Daddy. Don't cry. Daddy? Where? The door. Someone was on the other side calling me. I was on both sides, walking to it and trapped behind it, separated from it. I felt your heart beat, and then John pulled me away. I didn't want to go because the door had started to open. Charlie! I'm here. Don't get up. I can help. It's amazing you made it this far. I'm really glad to see you. Glad to see you too. Let's get you set up on the couch. But the one thing I'm, I'm missing out on, uh, it, it definitely shows that they've let in the secret and stuff like that. I would have loved to see their reaction to finding out that there's this Charlie and another Charlie impersonating the Charlie they knew. How are you feeling? Your pulse is a little slow. I want to check it in a few minutes. Drink some water. Marla, I'm fine. Now that we're all here... Ella, how did you find her? We'll talk about that later. Now, keep your eyes on the doll. Ah, uh, what is that? <clears throat> I'm gonna throw up. Ella, she looks... Real. John, can I see the chip? Thank you for turning that off. Sorry. I think you get used to it eventually. You weren't here for- The ones that Afton made. It's the same though, isn't it? Having From the twisted ones. Bombarding the mind? Overwhelming the senses? This one doesn't say Afton Robotics on it though. My father made this, I can tell. Charlie, do you remember your experiments from college? The robot faces. Sure, they must be gone by now. Nope, Jessica packed up all your stuff. She's got it in her apartment. Oh, where is Jessica? We're not sure. Oh, Jessica's been caught. Oh, Jessica. She fought, but now she's going to die. <laughs> what the fuck? I was not expecting that. Oh, my. Spring trap. Enough theatrics. What is going on? Who are you? Wait, I know that voice. William Afton? Very good. Did you like the dance? I thought you might like to see me as I was. A familiar face. So, 
God damn, he's gotten fucked up. We meet again in yet another form. You remember Dave, the security guard? A simple charade to move about without notice. And of course, you've met Springtrap. The thrilling fusion of man and technology. More like also very similar to like the mimic it seems like, okay. I confess, he made me ecstatic with my power, delirious over my newfound strength. But pain changes all things, as does time. Scalp torn from my head, scraps of metal interwoven throughout my whole body, and not to mention your friend Charlie's additions. That should have killed you, but you faked it. Leaving the fake blood behind for a police to find was a nice touch. Fake blood? I'm afraid I've spilled plenty of very real blood. I had no need to fake it. Whatever fake the missing children blood your police friend found it was someone else's but let's put the past behind us hmm? there's exciting work to be done who'd you murder now no one knew i like how casual she's allowed to walk around like she knows she's in this fucking dangerous mo like situation right now where she can legit just get fucking killed but She's just walking around all casually looking at shit. That was a little kid. You were the one kidnapping them. <laughs> Jessica, please, look at me. I can't kidnap anyone like this. Those days are behind me. But I do have Circus Baby's Pizza attracting huge crowds of people. Trusting children? Complacent parent? Isn't that right, baby? Oh, wow. You're not as cute as you are on the sign. How did you create her? Ah, a woman. What the fuck was that? With a mind for science. You can't help but admire what I've done. I study archaeology, but sure, you believe that. I can't take complete credit, unfortunately. What you see before you is a combination of all sorts of machinations and magic. Some of my work. Some of... Henry's. Who knew not to recreate the illusion of life when your mind can do it for us. She's more than illusion, though. Quite right. But that's why we're here. Why did... We <laughs> Why was he sitting there? <laughs> the f Why with the pose? Here to discover the secret of the last ingredient, the spark of life. Sometimes great things come at a great cost. We are here to recreate the accident, to replicate all their experiments, inching ever closer. To immortality. Is that Oh Jesus Freddy? The original Freddy? Not just the bear, the bird, the fox, the rabbit. Where did you find these? Why did you melt them together? How is it moving like that? How he's going to put himself like in that, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Were they ever able to move on their own? The children. Their souls were trapped inside those creatures. What else? You should know this. How did they die? Inside the suits. Their bodies were bound inside along with their souls. Good girl. The spirit follows the flesh, it would seem. And also, the pain. Damn. They're still in there? The children. Michael. If I wish to become my own immortal creation, my body must lead my spirit to its eternal home. Since I am still experimenting, I move my flesh piece by piece. 
God damn. More and more. It is a test of my own will. How much of myself can I carve away and still remain in control? You have to watch. No. The only reason you are alive right now is because he wants you to see. So look. Shoes. Focus on shoes. Y you like shoes. Green suity kitten heels with rhinestone trap at the ankle. Platform. Sneakers. Denim. Hideous. Kidney. This is kidney. Piece by piece. That's what he told you. Charlie's boots. Charlie. All done. What the fuck? The faces. My robots? There is an earpiece so they could recognize you, right? Yes. Could you make it work the other way? You may make it so the animatronics can't see you. The earpieces emit a frequency that alerts the animatronics to you. Makes you visible. If you inverted that frequency. I don't know, John. Maybe it could work. It could make us invisible to them? Maybe. But that's a big leap. I think I need to go back to sleep now. Yeah, I think that's enough excitement for the girl who's fresh out of a coma. Back to bed. Coma? Amazing. Oh yeah, you've kind of been asleep for about six to seven months. She looked human. Like an actual, for real, human child. Yeah. This was in Dad's office. Yeah, sorry Carlton. This is why your dad called me first. We were trying to figure out what was up with the Charlie imposter. Ah, don't worry about it. But I want to help now. Let me get those earpieces. Look! Jessica's keys. What about going back to the hospital and giving a little bit of that information to the fact that you guys have now the original, true Charlie, technically, uh, that they know, um, and they know for a fact that the other Charlie's fake? Let's see what skeletons Jessica has hiding in her closet. And also the fact that Jessica still hasn't, like, shown up or anything. They should be a little bit more worried about this. What have you been up to, Jessica? Michael. I knew I could have warned you somehow. The closet... I have to find the closet with stuff. And the fact that he's by himself makes me think that Weird um, experiment. Something's feels like gonna the happen. Story now. of my life. Yikes. You, me, we, she. You guys really love pronouns, huh? Hi? Who? Uh, no thanks. Talking to robots hasn't historically gone well for me. <laughs> so, with the wires like this, they can see me, so... Switch the red and blue, and that should do it. Hopefully when I get back, Charlie will be awake again to con- <laughs> uh, What is that? Uh, is it the earpiece? No. It's coming from... Carlton! Carlton! Carlton, are you okay? Charlie, uh, what are you doing here? John sent me to help. What were you doing with all this mm. stuff? Uh, I'm sorry, I hope it didn't break anything. I don't mind. It... Please, don't be a dumbass and realize this is the fake Charlie. Please, don't be a dumbass. It's all junk anyway. But the way you were rolling around on the floor, you must have activated something. Are you okay? I think so. Nausea? Room spinning? Terrible. It was the exact same feeling as... Same feeling as what, Carlton? The... uh... Tilt-a-whirl. What are you doing here? John didn't say. We were gonna surprise you with your old experiment, remember? The... robotic hand that could play the piano? Right. How sweet of you to come get it. Anyway, I couldn't find it and should get going. 
Carlton, if I didn't know better, I think you were afraid of me. Or maybe you're just flustered. You finally got me alone? No, stop it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, she's going to crush your nuts. Don't do it. <laughs> um, Charlie, you're not really my type, you know. You haven't even given me a chance. There's only Run! One way to be really sure how you She's gonna put your dick in a toaster! Run! <laughs> Carlton? <laughs> Carlton? Where'd you go? Whoo. Not what I meant by Charlie needs to confirm the earpiece hack works. John? Sorry. Did I wake you? It's okay. All I do is sleep now. You said something. Before it... It got me. What? You said you love me. Y you remember? I mean, you've been my friend since forever. Just like Marla or Carlton or Jessica. I love all my friends. Well, maybe not Jessica. So... Do you remember some of that night? It's all I remember. And the door, John. John, the door was opening. I think Sammy was inside. I could feel him in there. His heartbeat. Except I remember what Springtrap said. He said, I didn't take him. I took you. What? Sammy. I asked him why he took my brother from me. And that's what he said. I took you. He probably just said it to hurt you. To confuse you. He's insane. Well, it worked. John. How long has it been? No one will tell me. I know it's been more than days, but... It's been over half a year. Six months. Six months? Where have I been? You were with your Aunt Jen. I actually saw her with you right before the house came down. Or, I think I did anyway. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't remember her being there. Then how did you wind up in her house? We should go ask her. She's the only one who knows how all the pieces fit. About she that, has all the secrets. there's a problem with asking her when her neck is kind of broken. She's always. And she's no longer breathing. She's trying to protect me from that. But now, secrets aren't protecting anyone. John. <sighs> she's dead, isn't she? I'm sorry, Charlie. I couldn't stop it. No, it's okay. If she were here. She'd say I need to keep my head clear. We have to go back to her house. And still no one knows that she's hey. still missing. Oh wow, the kids are actually alive. <gasps> Shush! You'll have to be quiet. If you're not quiet, it'll come and get you. You're the kids. I mean, you're the kids that were taken and you're alive. I'm getting you all out of here. No, please. If you open the door, it will come and get you. Okay, we don't want that. Whatever that is. Are you Jacob? I met your mom. She's going to be so happy to know you're okay. Why should we tell you anything? You could be one of them. Hey, I'm stuck in here same as you. I'm Jessica. What are your names? Ron. Her name's Lisa. Elena. Can you tell me what happened? I'm honestly shocked that they're still a like. Mo mo I think it was like, yeah, they said earlier like four or five kids. Some girl in her tummy. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. She did it here at the pizzeria. She grabbed you with a hook and pulled you inside of her. I was in the woods. I was riding my bike by my house. I thought I could trust her. I love circus babies. Well, listen. I've dealt with things like this before, and I've got friends out there who have too. They're looking for us. 
Sean, Charlie! Carlton, what's going on? They're not here. I stayed behind in case Jessica shows up. They wouldn't tell me where they were going. Yeah, well, I sure did run into one of the Charlies. Her. What? That's her. That's the fake Charlie. And I bet that's where Jessica is. This might be a strange time to ask, but where is my car? I'm afraid your doppelganger has your car. What would that police report look like? I wonder. <laughs> help! Help! I, I stole my own car! Oh, uh, do you remember a guy named Artie? From class, yeah. You weren't dating? Uh, no. <laughs> After you disappeared, you said you were. Or at least, you're about to. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so either. Well, here we are. Engine's still in there. I can go in first and, uh, cover her up if you want. Let's get this over with. Do you, uh, want to get closer? No, it's not her anymore. Bye, Jen. Thank you. I found you in here. I don't think she kept you in there long. I think she knew about the imposter and put you in there just before Jessica and I arrived. Jen kept meticulous paperwork. Files on everything. There has to be some clue here. My dearest Jenny. What? It's a letter. From your dad. My dearest Jenny, I've warped and twisted my surroundings to the point where I can never be sure if I'll settle into reality again. Even if I did manage to turn off everything planted in the walls made to deceive myself, the damage is done. And far too great. Daddy. Charlie, this is pretty rough. Keep reading. Please, John. <sighs> I have my Charlie here with me, though she gives me no joy. I've poured agony into her, made her a reminder not of what I once had, but of the unbearable pain of what was taken from me. Keep all the closets shut. Let them be tombs for my denial and grievance, especially the fourth closet. Seal it. Bury it. But that's where I felt Sammy. That was Sammy calling to me from in there. My grief was already beginning to waken me to reality when I began what was to be your final stage. I had no choice but to cease my work, for I was only feeding my own delusion. My old evil partner, who I can only hope now is in a grave of his own, took what I had become Damn. and made something of his own. Something dreadful. I was able to stop him and to seal away what he made. Jenny. You must ensure that the seal remains. Then, someday, after many decades have passed and no one remembers, fill the house with every kind of flammable thing and burn it to the ground. Stand in close guard to put a bullet into anything that emerges from the rubble, no matter what or who it looks like. I'm going to be with my daughter. Damn. Love, always. Until the That's end. an animatronic with a fucking knife? Henry. I'm sorry, Charlie. Why does he act like I died? Sammy died. I don't know what any of that means. It sounds like he was... Going crazy. Hey, but take a look at this. Ella. I didn't realize your dad was such an artist. He said he drew things so he could see them. That it didn't work the other way around. Did he build multiple Ellas? It looks like he has designs for larger ones here. That's what these schematics suggest. Maybe he wanted to build you a doll that could grow up with you, since you lost Sammy? Why would I want a five and a half foot uh. doll on the track? He says he kept the closets locked. If there were just bigger and bigger Ellas inside them, why would Afton steal one? That's a question I think about all the time. You. You. You're not me. I'm the only you that matters. Yeah. You're sure these earpieces work? I mean, you can't really tell if it's working until you're in danger and you don't die. No one's here. Are you sure about this? Look. Jessica? Only one way to find out. 
Are those lock picks? If there's one thing I've learned from my dad, it's that lock picking can be used for good. Oh, whatever. Like, you actually know how to use those. Damn. <laughs> you were saying? Fine. Good job. Now, shh. Oh, wow. Can you smell that pizza? Forget the pizza. Be quiet. Creepy. It's exactly like Freddy's. Look at the monkey bars. There are kids in here? Are you okay? Where are your parents? Uh... Animatronics. Hello? Shot. My mistake. Tiny children size monkey clown animatronics. Interesting. Mistake, you're not the kids we're looking for. Carry on. They couldn't <laughs> see us. Those earpieces are working. Good test. We should still be careful though. I can't guarantee the earpieces work on everything, and they definitely won't work on people. If it weren't for the circumstances, I'd say this arcade actually looks kind of fun. That, on the other hand, does not tempt me in the slightest. Come on, Carlton. <laughs> Don't check it out now. Besides, I'm good at mazes. You're good at mazes? What is that supposed to what? mean? Why? What? What? Don't. <laughs> Why? Why? Look around. Don't play around. Come on. What's wrong with saying that? I've always been good at mazes. What? Like the hay maze when we were five? Yes. I know you're here. Oh, Jesus! It's fun time, Freddy. Run! <laughs> You'd better be very good at mazes now. I'd like to try to get us out of here, okay? What were you afraid of that you didn't want me to open the door? We thought it was a toy. You mean, it isn't the woman who took you? They're afraid of Funtime Freddy. Okay. Yeah. It's all mangled up. Like it's broken? Did you manage to break one of them? That's good. Unless it's innards? If they're breakable, we- It's not breakable. No, it's mangle! I faced animatronics like you before and I can do it again. You see? <laughs> she just- f f Bitch, get the fuck out! That's not- I beat- I'll beat your ass! <laughs> It's just a recording. It's coming from everywhere. I don't think there's anything actually in here with us. Well, let's find the exit before we have to prove that theory. There. Huh? Marla, wait. Ah. I see you. Shut up. There you are. Carlton? Carlton? I got you now. Your earpiece. Where did you go? Come oh, that was... here. I can hear you. you got lucky he didn't just snap his neck. There. You can't hide. Stop. We don't know where it is. Jessica? What are you doing here? Looking for you. Something got one of the kids. A little boy. I didn't see where it went. I think he, I think the little boy that got taken was the Jacob kid, too. We have to get them out. Oh, really, Marla? Is that what we should be doing? Here, I was painting my nails. Shut the fuck up, you thing! <laughs> Here, take this. What? Ew. It makes you invisible to the animatronics. You and Marla take these kids out, and I'll find the other one they took. If they're- That's not a good idea. You need something to protect yourself, if if anything. If there are any in the halls with us, I can draw them off, and you all can escape. Anything I should know? Afton's still alive. That ends today, one way or another. Not one more child dies because of that psychopath. I owe it to Michael. Damn. Look. We're getting closer. What is that? Run! Oh. I've got you. Hurry! Mangled is a menace. Phew. We need to keep moving. We're so close. It's right there. 
Oh no. Uh, I, I'm only seeing three out of the four kids you had. Those didn't do anything when Carlton and I came in because we were invisible to them. But the kids aren't. What's that? What's that there? Oh God, ago? it's fun. Ah. So there's Mangled and Funtime Foxy, really? Oh, it bit me. Okay, we've been here long enough. Let's go. Little creeps. Get them out. Jessica, what are you doing? Just get them outside. Hey, over here. I really should have thought this through. Go, go, good, good. You're gonna be okay. I still only see three out of the four kids they had. Huh. It's still chasing me. It's still chasing me. Oh, thank you. My way out. <gasps> no. Nothing to see here now. Come on. Come on. Interesting. Really wasn't expecting to see Mangle. Jessica, are you alright? I'm fine. So, who wants to visit the police station? No, this is where you go back in, get the other earpiece, one of you go take the kids to the police station, the other comes goes back in there, stealthily find the other dude, and give him the other earpiece so he doesn't get fucking murdered! Let's go. Father wants us to come home. My father is dead. Would you like a live one? Would that father be William Afton? I wasn't talking to you, John. <sighs> nice hit. But that was just round one. Just like by the old oak tree when we were little. Remember John? Hello? Come on, kid. Oh, dear God. Don't tell me. Is that fucking balloon boy? Where are you? The less time either of us spend in here, the better. I'm not letting what happened to Michael happen to you, to anyone, ever again. I'm coming, kid. He just wants your double A batteries. Get out of there! Where are you? Okay, well, I don't see you. You found me! <laughs> that would not be a good thing. I'll listen to anything you want to say. Just don't hurt him more. Why you? What are you? What makes you so special over and over again? Ugh, pathetic. What am I? What are you? Why don't I show you? Let's see if this works. What is this? Daddy. Memories, huh? No. She's transferring some memories. Not here, Daddy. Mine. I told you not to disturb me. There's no escape now. I've almost got you. Not yet. Damn! He beat that ass! Okay, now I know I'm close. Thanks for playing! Come again soon! God Are damn. you paying attention, Charlie? I would do anything to make my father love me like he loved... her. So I became her. There was screaming. It was coming from me, but... I remember hearing her scream. It's strange to remember the same moment from two pairs of eyes. But then, we were one. I don't believe the story- So the soul- the soul memories of the animatronic and the soul of the little girl that the animatronic killed basically fused together. Sorry, this thing that looks like me, that killed my aunt? I won't believe for a second that it's possessed by the spirit of that sweet and innocent girl. My name is Elizabeth, and the anger isn't from her. My anger is from a different father. I remember this. How do you have this? This is my memory, not yours. Though, it doesn't belong to you. 
Let me show you what does belong to you. Who is that? What is he holding? You don't recognize her? That's Ella, of course. It's all your father had left after you were taken. That's not Ella. He cried over that cheap ragdoll for two months. Cried into it. Bled into it. Poured his grief all over it. He began to treat it as though he still had a daughter. Of course, he wasn't content with that. You had to grow up. So he made more. Jen, I swear she's more than another animatronic. She walks, she talks. Of course she does, Henry. Everything you build can walk or talk. But the reason this one seems so real is because you're destroying your mind with these frequencies and codes. What is this? Fake blood? Henry, just because you can make a doll that bleeds... She remembers, Jen. She remembers me. No, Henry. You remember. Zap your head with enough of these rays, and I bet your tea kettle can tell you about your lost family. She's not lost Damn. anymore. She's in this doll. You have a son, Henry. A living son. And your wife. They can still be a part of your life. But you have to let go of this. She's here. My Charlie is here. A son? But Sammy died. Of course, he wasn't content with that. You had to grow up, so he made more. That was you. I thought it was... Who else could it be? I'm unique. Do you know why my eyes were always glowing? Why I twitched and shuddered in the dark? It was because your father left me turned on all the time. Every moment, every day, I was aware and unfinished. Watching him as the hours passed, as he created toys for the little Charlie, unicorns and bunnies that moved and talked, I hung in the dark, waiting, abandoned. All the while, he made our memories with a video camera. I'm sure they've been elaborated upon, edited and embellished, but make no mistake, he made us. First a baby, then a little girl, the sulky teenager. Then at last, she would be a woman. Finished. Perfect. Me. But something changed as Henry labored, wrapped with grief over his little girl. The littlest Charlotte was made with a broken heart. She cried all the time, day and night. The second Charlotte he made was when he was in the depth of madness, almost believing the lies he told himself. She was as hopelessly desperate for her father's love as he was for hers. The third Charlotte he made when he began to realize he had gone mad. The third Charlotte was strange. When Henry began to make the fourth, his despair turned to rage. He seethed as he soldered her skeleton together, pouring his anger into the forge where he shaped her bones. I was not Charlotte, trenched grief. I was made alive with Henry's fury. Do you know the first words your father ever spoke to me? You are wrong. He tried to fix the flaw he saw in me at first, but what was wrong, as Henry saw it, was the very thing that made me alive. Rage. My father abandoned me. Henry abandoned me. And so Afton found it and finished her. Of course. I could not comprehend those memories until I had received a soul of my own. Once I took it for myself. It is a rather cruel irony that I should escape the life of one neglected daughter. Only to embody another. Afton stole you from my father. And Henry took me right back and locked me in that closet. How long could you hear me call to you before you finally listened and came for me? But that was Sammy. No. Sammy's alive, don't you get it? He grew up. He doesn't even know you exist. Because you're not his sister. You're not Charlie. You don't even have the soul of Charlie. You're a ghost of a man's regret. You're the sad little tears that fell unceremoniously into a doll that used to belong to Charlie. And if I had to guess... Damn. It's right... Oh! Here. Ella. God damn!
Please, please, mister. Kid, are you okay? Come on, we're getting out of here. Save him, too. He hurts so bad. He says it's hot. Yes, heat. Heat is the key to all of this. Makes it malleable, moldable, and one might even say... Contagious. Best to put it into something you control to some extent. Of I'm shocked you didn't go over there and punch this motherfucker in the face by now. Of course, you can make something you control completely with no will of its own. A car, a gun, a dancing robot. Boring, but one drop of pixie dust and you can create a monster you mostly control one with unlimited potential oh, michael michael is in there how could you do this to them they do everything willingly the process only truly works if they freely release a portion of themselves and they still trust me your friend Michael, he seems to remember you too. What are you doing? Let me show you. <gasps> Why would you even give him the opportunity to fucking get close to you and stab you? Come on. Some of these people, like so, some, of, some of them are written in a way where we're like, come on, really, come on. Usually this goes into something mechanical, something I've made. But you'll do for an interesting experiment. Did he just inject him with the the liquid metal shit? Hmm. Maybe the heart was too direct. Well, that's the point. Trial and error. Are you still listening to me, Charlie? Unlike you, I was real. I was an actual girl, one who deserved the kind of attention showered over you. You were nothing. Do you want to know where my hate comes from? It's not from this machine that I reside in. And it's not from my past life, if that's what you want to call it. I hate because even now, I'm still not enough. Even after this, embodying the one thing father did love, I'm not enough because he can't duplicate this. He can't make himself like me. He can't duplicate what happened to me. Or maybe he's too scared to try it on himself. I broke free of my prison. I emerged from the flames and the wreckage of Henry's greatest failure. And I went back to my father. I gave myself to him. To study. To use. To learn the secrets of my creation. And still, it is you he wants. You. Maybe he can recreate. Henry somehow got a piece of himself into you. And that's something we haven't seen before. Interesting. Can you get the green for me? What? The green, please? Michael. Thanks. What are you doing? I have to put them back together. See, they're all in pieces. What are you putting back together? My friends. I know this picture. Who's that? Our friend. That's Afton. This isn't real. And they don't know. No, they're blowing away again. That's okay. I know how to help. Let's get these back together. We both know he won't be able to recreate you either. And the real question would be, would we really want him to? Besides, I think I hate you more than I love him. <laughs> Stronger than Damn. You. I've been doing sit-ups. I know it may sound very childish of me. But if he do doesn't want me, then he doesn't get you either. Charlie? It's okay, Don. I'll be right out. How far do you think I can get with him before he notices? You were right, Elizabeth. I was never supposed to be here. Neither of us were. God damn! There. I never had a but I love you too, John. Charlie, 
I did so not expect that. Please. No. Here, right here. You got them. They're coming back. That's Susie, Cassidy, and Gabriel, Fritz. My time was running short. Unfortunate. I hoped to learn something. But maybe that's not the problem. Maybe we just need some new life in this mass of metal. You'll have to forgive me though, as I'm not quite sure how to do that either. I can think of a few things to try. At the very least, it will be fun, like old times. Bring him to me. Damn. I have to go get something for him. Something for who? Who? Bonnie. He wants to bring a new friend for us, and he needs my help. Bonnie isn't your friend. Yes, he is. Listen, we're all together now. If you leave, you'll be lost again. The rabbit isn't your friend. See? This is the bad man. He's the bad man who hurt you. What are you waiting for? I'll do it myself. And he's about to hurt someone else. Stop it! Cooperate! Ah, what is this? Ah. <coughs> Carlton, is he okay now? Michael? Yeah, I think he's okay. Go be with your friends. Keep this. No! It's a part of you! You'll die without it. Carlton? You can give it to me next time you see me. Carlton, hang on. We're going to get you out of here. Damn, I honestly thought he was dead dead. This is also, th honestly, this is going in a direction I didn't expect. The, uh, I expected maybe the, the grown-up Charlie to die, but I wasn't expecting the, the, the teenage Charlie, basically, to die. Teenage psychology or Charlie. So, what happened then? Ouch, Marla, please. The nurse said I need to sleep. Oh, whatever. I practically am a nurse, and I want to know what happened. Where's Dad? I'm right here. He gave us a scare. It wasn't a practical joke this time. Are the kids all right? They're safe. All of them. All of them? Yes, you saved the last one. And Charlie? We don't know. I've been out to look for her, and I'm going to keep looking for her. But so far, I'm going to keep looking. And what about Hot Charlie? Ow, Marla, you can't do that. God damn it, dude. Did not learn last time. That. I almost died. I mean, you've been my friend since forever. Just like Marla or Carlton or Jessica. I love all my friends. John. <gasps> Very interesting. Okay. So I did I did know like at the end like it wasn't like a hundred percent sure or anything like that. I don't think I don't know if she's actually dead dead. But at the same time that could just have been an illusion at the very end. This is a very interesting movie. Very good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Please show your support. Everyone did a good job. When it comes to uh to this whole situation, like this whole creation, very well made. I think all the voices were good. Watching all the movies uh, slowly and whatnot from um, 
Silver Eyes, Twisted Ones, and now The Fourth Closet. Like I said, I will probably be diving into the other movies that I believe that they've been making. Let me double check on their channel. Let's see. Yeah, To Be Beautiful and Into the Pit. Yeah. They're now doing that as well. So. It's cool to see that they're continuing. And these ones are a little bit shorter. So I'll definitely be trying to tackle these eventually. So stay tuned for that. And of course, if you guys have a ton of support and everything for this video. And you guys enjoy this, the sooner the reactions come for the other movies. Let's see if there's anything at the very end. Oh. Will return. So from my knowledge, I think these are only three books, and the other stuff is, like, different. Technically canon, but also it's separate. I don't know the full details. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this extra lengthy, almost two-hour reaction. Uh, stay tuned for more. I don't do these type of reactions that often. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and later.